First off, congratulations on this win tonight. You had three touchdowns all yes. in the first half. What does this mean to you? Even though, again, uh, Dan was unable to put the ball to the end zone that first half, it really uh, it, it gave you a good opportunity. How, how are you feeling about those touchdowns? Well, I mean, this is a team sport. What can I say, man? I got to thank all the linemen in front of me. They made it real easy for me. I walked in the end zone, basically. You know, Without them, that doesn't happen. This is a good football team. You've won two out of three. Uh, at home, you're going back on the road to play Columbus, and then you've got to head back here for the showdown against a tough Albany team. But tonight, you can certainly on this Father's Day, it, it's definitely, it's got to feel really good. I, I know there has been a lot of pressure uh, with that loss uh, last week against a, a very tough Washington team. What, what, what was going through the locker room? at the end of that game last week? Well, I mean, we, we just came together, man. We got we got to stick together as a family. As you see, we came out hard, you know, and we stuck together, so that's what happens. I mean, when we stay together, play hard, that's all that happens. That's all that matters. This gentleman wants an autograph for you. Go ahead. You can go ahead and get this autograph from him. Go right ahead. Uh, question, though, um, I have to ask. Uh, tonight, it wasn't just about the offensive play of Adrian Ferns and Dan Rodeball. Tell us about the three-headed monsters, Torres Jones, James Romaine, and Dwayne Hollis. I mean, that's Strap City. Enough said, man. I mean, <laughs> when, they, when they play together as a unit, it's hard to beat them. You've got that uh, I, I, Dan Rodeball also a couple touchdowns tonight. Do you feel like uh, he was feeling a lot more comfortable in the I mean, pocket? I mean, that starts off with us, man. If we, if we, if we, I got you. If, if we don't um, protect him, he doesn't feel comfortable, I mean, that's what happens. But, I mean, that's the Red Rocket. I mean, that's the Red Rocket. That's what yes. happens. <laughs> yes, it is. And you even almost went to, uh, to Newell in the end zone. I oh, yeah. Could you imagine what that went? Let's bring him in. Let's bring in, of course, the biggest. Oh, Tell yeah. us about what that would have meant to score for you. I know oh. you've had a touchdown before. Yeah, it would have meant, it would have meant yeah, the world. Two. I had two on the season You do so have far. two. Yeah, I've, but, I've been to one of your games where you actually had that. But the second one at home, that would have put the ice on the cake for me. Well, that would have been, that would have been uh, uh, exciting. Next week, you can find Adrian Ferns and members of the Philadelphia Soul in Columbus, Ohio. And then, of course, back here with Tommy Thank Brady, you. the Albany Empire. Adrian, gentlemen, congratulations. Thank you. Happy Father's Day to you. We'll talk with you again very soon. Jake Schwartz again here at the Wells Fargo Center with the man who scored the hat trick, Adrian Ferns.